Bitcoin still has not broken 100,000 here. This is your daily chart on Bitcoin. You can see it's starting to make bullish consolidation. I want to be clear, as of now, probabilities still favor a break above 100,000, especially as it builds a bull flag base here. Bitcoin Zella stands out with its simplicity and clarity. We've crafted an experience that anyone can dive into, whether you're a crypto expert or just a new to the crypto world. Now guess who keeps his eye on us? The author of best-selling book Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. And we want to take this opportunity and thank all the people who trusted us, and we read every comment, and the best part, it's free. Subscribing now means you will get all new information for free. Don't just follow the trends, stay ahead of them. Subscribe to Bitcoin Zella today and enjoy the new edge. In this video, let's discuss these topics and more. Now, I did some research over the weekend on where it could go. Is it going to pierce by $100? Is it going to pierce by $1,000? let us go back to the chart and take a look at where it likely will go to. What I did was I was researching here, right? And of course, I'm drawing trend lines and trying to figure things out. And what I found is remarkable. So you have, if you take the high from 2017, you connect it through the high of 2021 in March. It connects perfectly to the high in November of 2021. You drag a parallel down, right? Drag the parallel down. You can see, again, this is a parallel, right? So you drag it down here exactly to these lows right through here. And that should give us a tradable level on Bitcoin to short. So I think Bitcoin, as of now, you would assume it will eventually, whether it's today or, or tomorrow, break through 100K. It then could go as high as about 107 to 108,000, which would get all the bulls thinking it's going to 150. Then I would expect a bigger pullback on Bitcoin. And again, all we're doing here is using the charts, right? So it, basically, it's not our job to try and reinvent the wheel. As a trader, we look and say, okay, off of here, it had a big pullback. Off of here, it had a big pullback. Off of here, it had a big pullback. So if it hits here again, you would anticipate a decent-sized pullback. Now, where would that pullback potentially go? I would lean towards 75000 right around the high pivot here. Uh, there's also a little bit of a trend line if you take this high and connect it through. That's right around 75800 So somewhere in that 75, 74000 76000 range. That would be a beautiful retrace. That would be an absolute buying opportunity as a trader here um, on the charts of Bitcoin. All right. So again, for me personally, I'm looking to potentially short 107, 108 if it gets there. And then I, on a, any sort of pullback, I would be a buyer at 75, give or take. All right. And remember, it's just the charts. The charts guide me. It, it has nothing to do. I, I couldn't care less about Bitcoin one way or the other. I'm a trader. I'm looking at shorter term moves. What's the next move? Where can I get in? Where can I go out? Et cetera. Bitcoin's rally faces key challenges with $100,000 in sight, but still unclaimed. Institutional activity this week could tip the scales. BlackRock and Fidelity's ETF shape BTC's price movements. Trump's victory and pro-crypto stance fueled BTC's 40% rally since November 5. Pro-crypto policies, like replacing SEC Chair Gary Gensler, sustain market optimism. Traders eye institutional momentum this week to push BTC past $100,000. Bitcoin's milestone moment remains within reach, with institutional and political tailwinds poised to define its next big move. Robert Kiyosaki claims Bitcoin will hit $500,000 by 2025, citing AI forecasts and growing adoption. While skeptics question the timeline, proponents highlight BTC's scarcity and long-term potential. With a cap supply, increasing adoption boosts Bitcoin's long-term value. Bitcoin recently peaked at $99,500, nearing Kiyosaki's $100,000 short-term call. Kiyosaki promotes Bitcoin as a safer bet than traditional education. MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor envisions BTC reaching $13 million in the future. Advocates see Bitcoin as a safeguard against economic instability. Kiyosaki's bold forecast sparks debate, but Bitcoin's potential as a disruptive asset keeps it in the spotlight. Uh, silver today. Silver's kind of an interesting chart here, guys. If we look at the daily on silver, look at this. So let me refresh my chart so it gets bigger here. Here's your pivot low, pivot low, pivot low. You broke above, you confirmed below. So here's your close below. You didn't confirm here. You confirmed the breakdown right here. All right, this is, again, something I teach in the Winning Trader Series. Don't forget, 50% off coupon code coming on Wednesday. I'll give it out on Wednesday. 
What this tells us is that once you confirm below support, this line becomes major, not minor. So when you get below, this is minor. This is minor, meaning that it can break back above very easily and often does. Once it confirms, it means it's much more, it's a stronger major resistance. Sure enough, up, reject it, up and reject it. And that continues to have me favoring a move on silver potentially down here. All right. So again, we'll have to watch and see, but don't be surprised if silver comes down into that range. Another great one here, guys, we got to talk about natural gas. Natural gas, guys, I've guided you on my trades. I literally gave you this trade ahead of time in this game plan or trading the close. I've talked about it in both uh, free forums of my shows. And I said to you guys, when you get up to 355, you start nibbling on the short side. I did that with members, both of the, my commodity service, smart money commodities and, and smart money stocks. We took profits on Friday in both because the pullback was so big. And I always say to people, don't look to give horse in the mouth, right? If someone gives you a horse, you're not going to be like, oh, but the teeth aren't great. I'm not going to accept this, this present. You say, okay, awesome. You know, this is, this is found money. So I took profits on natural gas with both, me both member services on Friday. Um, and sure enough, was that the right move? All we can see is natural gas up over 5% today, almost back to that same level. So now if I really wanted to, I could almost reshort at the same level. As of now, I don't. I want to wait for it to get up to this level at 365. If I miss it, so be it. But it just shows you how aggressive swing trading can really net you profits, where you took it off the table on that pullback. You had the exact high right here for a short boom, grab it, and then right back up it goes. And you say, thank you very much. Love that stuff. Now, lastly, oil here, folks, as we go into oil, oil not doing a whole lot, pulling back a little bit on the daily chart, but it just continues to languish here. And again, I would just, the only thing I'll say on this is, first of all, I would be a shorter at, at $75 a barrel um, if it gets up there. Aside from that, I still continue to be very concerned the way it keeps hammering based on technical analysis. The more it hammers a trend line, the weaker that trend line becomes. And if we look at this, this level has held basically since 2021. And so if this level breaks, what do we know? We know that we should have a bigger move down. Now, don't think it's going to go to 35 straight out. I want to be clear on that because some people are crazy out there that watch me. They're like, oh, but it, it didn't get to $35 in, in, in three days. I can't believe Gareth was wrong on that one. No, what this is saying is that this will begin its march towards this level. It'll have bounces along the way. Like, for instance, right here, pivot low at 57. There should be a bounce there. Here's a level at 5370. Here's a level right here at 43. You know, my point is, is that this break will be a significant break, but it will take time, probably six to 12 months before it gets down to this level. But again, if we look at this, it's a great, let me go to my bigger time frame here. Let's go to your weekly so we can see this. Look at these two trend lines converging. Pivot lows right along here. Pivot highs down here. They're converging right around 35 a, a barrel. That's got to be, at least in my opinion, that's the most probable place where this is likely to go. Raul Pal claims Dogecoin is harder money than Bitcoin, highlighting its historical outperformance. Doji has surged over 76,000% since launch, compared to Bitcoin's 8,000%. Analysts predict continued gains for the meme coin. Doji's 76,150% rise beats BTC's 8,031%, since December 2013. Doji's breakout on BTC charts signals potential upside ahead. Pal sees meme coins leading the next market phase. Arthur Hayes predicts Doji reaching $1, alongside BTC at $100,000. Doji thrives on adoption and influencer-driven momentum. While Dogecoin remains speculative, its historical strength and growing market role suggest a meme coin revolution could persist. A major gold discovery in China's Hunan province, valued at $83 billion and containing over 40 gold veins, is anticipated to influence global markets significantly. Chief Morgan has warned the Elon Musk-led Department of Government Efficiency, Doji, will face significant hurdles citing Congress' control over spending. Based on current data, 24 days before the upcoming Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, meeting, there's a 52.7% likelihood of a quarter-point rate cut, according to CME Group's FedWatch tool. Five days ago, Coinbase announced plans to remove wrapped Bitcoin, WBTC, from its platform on December 19, 2024.
in the days following the announcement that WBTC supply has contracted. Bitcoin's price correction across multiple timeframes reveals short-term bearish pressure while maintaining a bullish outlook in the long term. If you've been with us so far, a big thank you. Don't forget to subscribe for free to Bitcoin Zella for your daily news. The link is waiting below. That's all for today's crypto news. Stick around for more updates, insights, and analysis on cryptocurrencies. Share your thoughts in the comments, like this video, and subscribe for more exciting content.